Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Foundation Week. So every single day for a whole week, we're talking about foundation with the exception of Sunday. I know yesterday I didn't have a video. Um, I'm sorry. I, I don't like to post videos up on Sunday. It's like a family day and so it's just I don't want to take away from that. Anyways, so I didn't have a video up yesterday. But we're continuing on today, all the way to Wednesday. We have three more days until foundation week is over. So we're gonna be talking about the number seven foundation. I did a whole first impressions on it. I will link it in an iCard. And a lot of you guys wanted to know an update, wanted me to follow up with you guys and tell you my thoughts. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. If you're ever curious about what foundations match me, you wanna do a comparison, check the description box. I have a bunch of foundations, high-end drugstore. I have my regular shade and my summer shade, which I am right now is my summer shade, um, down below. So yeah, that's what we're doing. So I'm going to quickly read to you guys uh, what this foundation says. So this says it's a lift and illuminate foundation. Its coverage is medium. It's anti-aging complex. Visibly lifts, firms, and illuminates. Has an SPF of 15. Hyperallergenic. Okay, and it says a illuminating foundation which has been formulated with a polymer to help appear to visibly lift and give firmer feeling skin. Our pro retinol complex containing blah 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 boosts and maintains elasticity. It also contains a brightening complex, brightening complex to give skin a long term long term boost for even skin tone. Powerful and antioxidants. So it's supposed to be a luminous foundation, it's supposed to be medium coverage, and it's supposed to make your face look firmer, healthier, younger. Uh, I don't know, I want to love this foundation so much. This foundation reminds me so much of one of my favorite foundations, the Bourjois Healthy Skin Serum Foundation, which I love, and you have to get it off of Amazon. But the shade on this foundation just is terrible. They don't have a lot of shade selection. So I've got mine at Walgreens. Their shade selection is terrible. And this is like the third or the fourth one and it's warm beige. Um, this is not warm, you guys. This isn't warm at all. I think the Wet n Wild Contour and Palette in Dulce de Leche, this like neutral shade, which I consider to be neutral, is warmer than this shade. Like. This seems like a cooler, pinker toned um, foundation to me and it doesn't match me. I have neutral skin and it's still, it's too cool. And so uh, I just, I wish it had a better, it like looks like it's almost like grayish toned to me. It looks grayish to me, even in the bottle, it looks just grayish. That's probably like the biggest flaw. Uh, I don't know, they don't have a lot of shades, selections, and then the ones that they do, I feel like are too cool toned, too pinky. Even this one that says warm beige isn't warm enough, in my opinion. That kind of kills it for me. A foundation at the drugstore that doesn't even have enough shades, doesn't even have warm shades, I feel like won't cater, cater to my skin shade area. So like a medium tan, too, too dark, I feel like this one, this foundation wouldn't cater to it. Now everything else, does it lift and illuminate? I don't see that it makes my skin firmer or lifts it at any, at any moment. I feel like it doesn't accentuate my fine lines. It doesn't accentuate like my smile lines and things like that. I feel like it looks really smooth and skin-like on the skin. I do feel like it's a medium light foundation. I don't think it's a medium, found like a medium or medium high, high medium foundation. No, I think it's a light medium coverage um, in itself. I, I tried to build it. It really didn't build on itself. Um, I love using this with a brush. It's one of those foundations that I had big expectations because everybody loved it and I don't like it. I think that um, if you don't have a lot of spots to cover, you're probably going to like this. It is glowy, but not too glowy. So it looks really, really beautiful on the skin. But for me, I just... Uh, because I am Latina, anytime I break out or anything like that, I get dark spots, almost bruising. And so this doesn't even come close to covering it. It just, I don't know. I, I love how it sits on the skin. It reminds me of my favorite foundation. But personally, I'm not too fond of this one. I think that one is 
10 times better. And they don't have that many shades either on that one, but that one just caters to warmer skin. Um, this one, it just, it just looks gray in the bottle. Can you just see that? It just looks gray in the bottle. Um, this one is not one of my favorite foundations. I think it's a great foundation. I think that a lot of people are gonna like it. For me, it didn't wow me enough for me to say, hey, you need to go get this. I think it's an okay foundation. Um, it just, uh, I don't know, I, I really had high expectations because everyone was raving about it. And they didn't read those high expectations. It's a good foundation. It fits nice on the skin. I think it looks great over like fine lines. I think it has a medium coverage. I think it's illuminating, like a natural luminous finish and it looks nice and it has a pump. So this is a great option for those of you guys that are trying new foundations. Um, I think that if you have oily skin, you might be able to wear this still just setting it really really well going through all those mattifying process um, but for me the shade selection was just so terrible that I just wouldn't wear this it's too pink it's too grayish um, and I really had to I don't know go in there and warm it up with different products and um, I just I can't deal with that I can deal with too light too dark I can't deal with the undertone just being completely wrong so um, yeah this foundation review is super quick i wanted to update you guys you guys wanted to know my opinion i think this is the only foundation that i've done a negative review on so far that i just i not a big fan of it, it's like an okay like from one to ten it's like a five it's like an okay you know what i mean anywho uh yeah that's today's foundation video tomorrow i'm gonna have a bomb foundation video. We're going to be talking about the ordinary foundation of first impressions and um, I am dying to try that foundation and I have so many thoughts on it all ready to share with you guys like so much to tell you guys um, before we even try the foundation like kind of my experience with ordinary I don't know. Um, I'm sorry if this was a negative review and you guys kind of got bummed out but uh, I don't know. It's okay if you have if you can find one that matches you, I would try it because it's a pretty good foundation. Um, I think that if I wouldn't have tried my bourgeois one and realized how great that one was, this one probably would have been like up there. But uh, yeah, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys later and uh, make sure to subscribe and to come back tomorrow for another foundation video. Um, but yeah.